beginning, when you first start your SAE Games course, we take you through the principles of game design, all the, the basics that you need to know, like game balance and all of the elements of games and working with players and prototyping. But as well as that, we also go through scripting and maths. So you learn the basics of programming. We do that for the first two trimesters, making sure you have a really strong grounding in that area. We make sure students are learning the latest technologies in terms of what's used in industries. We go through Unity, uh, Unreal, uh, as well as Maya, 3D Max, lots of different tools. To augment that, we look at you know, up and coming and, and you know, fringe tools that are coming out, like VR, Arduino. So when you go through the course, you're not only ready to slot in and use whatever technologies companies are currently using, but you're also able to take advantage of the new and emerging markets. We're making games for consoles, games for desktop, games for tablets, mobiles, Oculus Rift, whatever sort of crazy new devices that are around. We simulate the working environment as much as possible. You go straight into making games and you learn from the actual doing. At the beginning, everyone does design and everyone does programming. So you both have an insight into how each other operates. But then as we move forward, then you go through and you specialize in those skills. By the time you finish the course, you have already experienced what it's like to work in a studio for at least a year. SAE students learn by doing.